Mm. You don't know setting seed, a seed above the windows. Pasero. All right, and so we do it today. Yes, it is the Juice with Jam, and we are honored to have these guests. So we want to say uh, a good morning and have you say good morning to the to the city. So we'll start with you, Esco. Yes, good morning, you know what I mean? G family, you know what I mean? Uh, the people of Toronto, across the diaspora. Esco Levi, big up. Okay, we need to turn up Pinchas. We need to turn up his headphones over here. Uh, it looks like the ball head crew is having some kind of a, an alumni meeting, a little conversation. All right. It, it looks like it's kind of a setup of a war because I noticed it's the dreads on this side. Yeah. Rasta. And the nuts are dreads. The, the, the ball heads on this side. And the Rasta over that side. And Pinchas yeah, yeah, in the yeah, middle are going to have to. No, it's not. It's not. Correct me. It's okay, correct me. It's follicle. We're follicle challenge. Okay. <laughs> to the legends of reggae music and uh it's uh, reggae into dancehall uh, we have them here today and of course esco levi um you're going to be doing a special tribute to the great guy and silk yes um how <clears throat> not how difficult but what was it like to know that this type of challenge to meet the expectations of the incredible music sound tonation vibes of God and Silk. Is it something that is in your lane already or something that you feel like no, you couldn't wait to? No, that's the thing. We can't compare with God. No. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. So what is it like to prepare for that? I'm just putting Escaliva and I Priest band in those songs, you know what I mean, and celebrating his spirit. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you can't sound like that. Okay. We don't want to sound like that. I'm right. Escaliva. You know what I mean? We're just paying tribute, as I mentioned, you know what I mean? To God. I'm from Manchester. He's from Manchester. You know what I mean? And I grew up on this song. So, mm. you know, we know these songs. We grew up hearing these songs on the radio. You know what I mean? And things it's really an honor. You know what I mean? Mm. And of course, um, Pinchers, you know, you know, um, you know, uh, um, no stranger. No surprise or stranger to Toronto or legendary. the morning show here. And of course, the reggae music. Yeah, and I to mean, the legendary title. The foundation title. of reggae music comes from a place where everybody can always direct certain names to. And you are one of them that always pops up. And so it's appropriate that you're a part of this legends. Um, what does it feel like being titled a legend? Well, definitely, it feels very good. Mm -hmm. You know that, um, you know, we've been paying a tribute, you know, and, and people appreciate and recognize that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and encourage you to, to even the more. Jim? All right, just so. Um, I thought you would want to introduce... I have my virgin already. You're, 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 you're You might want to know more about us. Know. So go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary um, in the secular world mm. and also in the gospel arena too. Yes. So how does it feel to carry both of those mantles and continue with them? It's a new pathway, you know, that I, that the Lord has allowed me to pave. Mm. Um, it has never happened before. Uh, so this is an as I said, a new pathway where I am gifted, you know, by the Lord to be able to deliver in this fashion because where I'm coming from, it was a training ground. Right. You know, to prepare me then for such a time as now. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe that once you embrace Christ, it means segregation. You know what I mean? Um, Christ was called a friend of sinners. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm supposed to be representing the light, then I need to be where darkness is. Because whenever light turns up, darkness flees. Mm -hmm. And so I can't forget where I'm coming from because this love that I experienced from Yahshua HaMashiach, the Christ, mm -hmm. I can't keep it to myself. You know, it is so overwhelming that I have to share it with others. You know, and so the message that, and that, that I've been assigned to deliver is one of peace, mm -hmm. of love, mm -hmm. and of righteousness. And if that is the mandate given to me by the king to deliver, how can I stay away from where I'm coming from? I, 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 I mean, you, you don't have a future if you don't know your history. Right. Mm, that's mm -hmm. the bottom line. You know what I mean? And so the mandate is very serious in terms of what I do and how I do it. And if I'm on a platform mm -hmm. to share love, then there's no color, no class, no... Just pure undiluted love. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the best way to share it 
uh, and for them to receive it is to know that I have been there and have the experience and it is more authentic when you present it that way you've been there and done that. I mean, right. I can't tell you about music when I've never done music before, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I've been afforded the opportunity to be able to travel globally to spread this message even before then because nobody knew me as any guru, as any gangster, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. Uh, I've never been that. You know, I've done song about it, telling, telling messages of people who go that route mm -hmm. and how it, it ends up. But not a situation where I've practiced the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So what I practice is what I'm now sharing. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a beautiful thing because sometimes when people move away from secular, sometimes they tend to ignore their old fans. And it makes the fans feel as if the support I gave you in the music, mm -hmm. you're no longer proud of it, meaning you're no longer proud of me. And it feels like a judgment when they'd like to right. celebrate what they grew up with, but also, like you said, celebrate in your path with you as you change and move. Yeah, I mean, um, my position is not to present the thing as if I'm not ashamed. Let me very, let me state it very clearly that I am not ashamed of anything that I have done right. before, mm -hmm. because that's never been about derogatory, and I've always, I'm always conscious of what I'm doing in music, because the thing is this: people, a lot of people don't understand music comes from the Greek word muse, which means to make think. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is that I want you to think, I use music to do so. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that is why we can be at a show and we tell somebody to hold up your hand and jump and without knowing they are intoxicated by the music that we're presenting. Mm -hmm. And so we can tell them to do whatever it is that we want at that stage and they will do it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so we have the responsibility to ensure that what we put in the music is morally sound mm -hmm. um uh, that it it, it it builds the moral fiber and the spiritual fiber of the society and of the individual mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i realize you're dropping knowledge and um that some of the hair had to drop to put the knowledge <laughs> in because but, right now you're you're, but, you're, you're taking no, over no, yes, all right, the tribute to uh, the legends of reggae music and the dance hall, the musical documentary that salutes the lives and music of the legendary dance hall artists will be featuring, of course, Lieutenant Stitchy, Tiger, uh, Pinchers, Esco Levi over there as well, too. Master T will be hosting. We'll have more of that in a little break after the break. Yeah, we're going to talk more with the lock side. That's the juice of gem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mark and Jam with fresh news, views, and interviews all morning on G987. So, we have Captain on time here. Yeah. Right on time, always on time, forever on time, time after time. Team Rasta win so far. Yeah. Team Rasta win. Yeah. Team we Rasta called Rasta in, win. We called in the three legends of... Uh, I, don't, I don't understand something with Sister Jen. Okay. You don't realize when we have... We have Filled with so much kindness, right? Mm -hmm. That we allow others to go ahead of us. Oh, oh so wow. that's the situation. Right. So, you, so you see the demonstration of okay. brotherhood. Yeah. Oh, okay. And okay. Talk. We have brotherhood. People had a good talk. Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, we have uh, Esco Levi, Pinchers, and um, Lieutenant Stitch in the building. We want to thank the people at Scott Hill for sending us some food this morning. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed so far what we have this morning. Yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> you, you keep looking forward. He fixes forward. one every morning, but uh, in the words of uh, Escoli, uh, I walk one. Is it, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm able to travel to Canada. I have a visa that I'm able to travel. Okay. So you can go by any time, any morning. Fear. This is a plane fee. A plane fee. That's not For a little food. All right, and Pinches, Pinches said um, he didn't like the food. No, um, actually, I just want to be honest. Right. Okay, right, you right. have to be honest. I want to say it when the person who presented was there. Okay. Right. And um, I didn't like it. You didn't like the food yeah, at all? Yeah, he said that in front like of Scott. But, yeah, but um, <laughs> I ensure that he leave with a smile because I actually said that I love it. <laughs> right, right. So, like is too soft for that. Okay, he and has to, be, he has to which, clarify. Shout, shout out to Keith from uh, Scott Hill. It's his birthday tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So we yeah, thank him for putting this together for us yeah. today. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so again, tributes to the legend of reggae and dancehall music. Where do you guys see the state 
of both reggae and dancehall at the moment because I know a lot of people, well, you can fuse them together, but you can also have them on separate platforms. Mm -hmm. Where do you guys see the present and future of reggae and dancehall? Since you guys are legends that we're speaking to, you guys have seen it grow, you guys have helped it grow, you guys have pushed it forward. Where do you guys see it going? And where it is now? We start with Pinchas first and everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a legend question yeah. I will ask. Assume to be legend. Yeah. Assume to be legend, yes. Pinchas? Well, um, over the years, um, music, uh, reggae music, um, grow and have different branches. And, but the same one, one music and thing. But um, presently right now, all it does need is just to pause the younger youth them to just keep it positive mm -hmm. yeah which uh, a lot of them is doing and and i like some of the writings that they're going on with mm -hmm. you know and um just keep it positive and keep it clean and build the most high because if you leave out that it's like you are building vain mm -hmm. because you know you have to put them in the front yeah mm -hmm. so i say as i say if they, if they shock tight with that love and that um concern about Who's listening to the music? The kids, them, even the older folks, them, and shock that that they can um, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the contents and lyrics and leave out the violence, cause some too much violence in other thing right now. Mm -hmm. Violence in the night for all the while still, not. yeah. But minimum. But right now, it I get to, you understand me? We need less of that and more love and them thing. But you have artists there show that and you know them look up to them each other as well as all they look up on the legends because mm -hmm. uh, they uh, 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 say co-workers right so they watch what another next person is saying and if one out of the many is doing anything positive probably that might magnetize the next person to do that mm -hmm. i hope that we could do that for the future Such my view is that currently when i look at the thing overall um i see we are by you know, there's, there's stagnancy. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's my, my perspective. There are always good and gifted artists coming up, and Jamaica is not sure of that. And currently, we are seeing very gifted right. artists in the industry, in dance mm -hmm. But we can't overlook the stagnancy of that. That's, it. that's in the minor. That's not in the major. Right, right. Everybody sound like everybody. Everybody, the, 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 the moral standard in the music has dropped tremendously mm -hmm. and it has helped to you know promote some of this violence that we're seeing because mm -hmm. that's the power of music mm -hmm. you know what i mean and um that is how i see it people are operating in such a way whereby everybody does singing about singing about no just a one song that lasts for two and three weeks and then after that there's no longevity for the growth <coughs> and thing in the future right. because the everybody's singing about everybody's singing about party you know, there's yeah, a space yeah. for everything. Yeah, yeah. And everybody thinking yeah, about, yeah. you know, them a gangster. Mm -hmm. or, you know, you know, how the gun for fire. Mm -hmm. and, and these are the realities that we see. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, I remember back in the days, I understand also right now that metamorphosis is a must. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's a part of life. There must be changes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we welcome changes. Mm -hmm. But let it be positive for the moral fiber of the society. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because if we had destroyed it terribly in our time when we were doing those things and breaking into the business, myself and Pinchers and Tiger and, you know, and, 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 and that kind of a thing, then they wouldn't have a legacy to come see now. So they have to add to the growth positively at that legacy. And there are several different artists that are doing so. Mm -hmm. So we can negate that and overlook that. True. Mm -hmm. But we, we, we need to see it on a, on, a, on a wider platform because most of the time, some of the artists who are actually spreading the positive music are not the ones getting featured. Right. Ne they are not the ones being placed in. And, it, and people would say, well, come let the music now grow because you don't have no good artists and perform again. Mm -hmm. But there are good artists out there. Right. It's mm -hmm. just that um, people major the minor and minor the major. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? And the mm -hmm. message... The message that is there to build the industry as a whole and to build individuals because reggae, reggae music has always been a music uh, speaking about you know struggles and the strength of uh, of who we are as a people. You know what I mean? We can't you know I, I mean deviate from that. You know what I mean? that is who we are as a people. The experiences that we are right. uh, that we are that we live. Mm -hmm. That's who we are. You know what I mean? 
And that's the message that would bring one of love, always one of love, one of peace. And I remember from way back when, mm -hmm. that's always been so. You know, if you check the history of it, it has been so. But when it comes to dance all, you know, of this latter day, you know what I mean? Right. It, 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 it supports things that are very disturbing to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then it's not just a song, but the lifestyle. Right. They support it in the lifestyle that they live. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I'm just being transparent. You know, you know honest with and, me. And, and, that's, and that's how I feel. I don't think that as an artist, you know, as a, I think as an artist, you have a, a, an obligation, mm -hmm. you know, to set that kind of an example. You can't dictate how people live the life. Right. But you must live one that is exemplary. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be in an argument with the police and, you know, and, 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 and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, for things that we are guilty of. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And Esco, you yourself, I mean, <laughs> just speaking off of that note, you're coming from the generation after, and you, you've seen what they've laid a foundation for, and you yourself, in your music, and by the way, like all of his, from his Juno nominations and wins, we also want to applaud everything for mm -hmm. Esco, what, what he's doing with raising the flag and raising the culture here in Toronto, Jamaica, that, that is around what I'm the world. About. Yeah. And the thing with Esco as well, too, is that Esco brings that, and you can adjust to this, too, because I don't want to speak for you, but the the underbelly of some of the culture of all of the culture of all music that we have that, that we all seem to uh, highlight in some way shape or form you seem to find a way to speak on it without promoting it mm -hmm. you seem a way you find a way to um, educate us as opposed to keeping people in that same mind state so what do you think as uh, soon to be growing up legend in this music and I I, I will mark you that you don't have to mark yourself so <laughs> amigo system right well, as a soon to be what what do you think is the torch that you have to continue to carry well when I one of, I think one of the biggest lies um, told in music is when people say music is not influential. You know what I mean? Because I remember so 93, 94 when Sizzler Colonji came mm. to I think the most youths who ras and find Rastafari in Jamaica is within that time. Mm. When Sizzler Colonji came to you know what I mean? Um, so, Bucho, so you can't tell me say music is not influential. Exactly. Me, I'm, I'm not going to accept that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, you can um, read a script, okay? And you probably don't remember it, but if you sing it to him, he or she is going to remember. True. You know what I mean? So, we literally understand that the music is going to evolve. This younger generation, they listen to music different. But I will go back to what Stitch is saying. Lyrical content is very important because I have two daughters and a son. And if I play my song in my car, my radio, you know what? If I turn on my radio, but it's a society branding thing where society think that they always said sex sell. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you see, as an artist, especially in Jamaica, um, I realized that most of the youths in Jamaica, there was, there was not enough done to inform the younger generation about this culture, about the stitch of the pinchers. If you go in Europe, you could name any artist from mm -hmm. the 70s, mm -hmm. a young European youth, know of them. The first time I was in Dublin, I was in Austria and I hear, um, Lucy for the son of the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna chase you out of earth. That was the first time I'm hearing that song. Wow. In Austria, and, and, and I remember the white guy, young youth, he said to me at Esco, that song has been one of the biggest songs in Europe. Mm -hmm. But no, Esco, Esco, youth. But you're but, but you have you are developing even great demand even in Denmark. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. You I'm are good. developing a great demand yes, even in Denmark. Denmark. Now. Mm -hmm. Next Wednesday. See, see, dance all. Don't have to be slack. I heard Butch said that one time. Right. We need to get away from where we think the dancers have to be slack. Like, for instance, one of the biggest songs right now is to us. Mm -hmm. It's not slack. It's not immoral. You could play that song anywhere, you know what I mean? But I think that media people, radio stations and people have a lot to do with that too. Definitely. Because they, they, they shine, shine all the light and the negative all the time, you know what I mean? Especially in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. and, and if we don't say this, we are, we are light to ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There are so much artists. And next thing again that I, that, that I realize... You see, they would give an artist 100% support in all his music, even if it's immoral. And yet still, if they just give a next artist 10%, that's a fraction of that attention that they give this artist that they're promoting so much. Mm -hmm. See, you know, I'm going to give you an example. I remember about seven years ago, um, David Radigan from England, who's a legendary mm -hmm. in this industry, he came to Jamaica and he said, listen, a certain artist, is, I'm not going to call the artist name, is banned from BBC One in extra in England by law yeah. because this person convicted and charged mm. for a crime against an ex-human being mm. the man said the man stand up and the man said it is sad 
85% is of your attention in Jamaica radio station is given to this person. Mm. See, this person has been nominated for Youth View Award wow. in Jamaica. I'm not saying wow. that the artist is not talented already, but first and foremost, you shouldn't be on the baller. Yeah. Right? yeah. If you're going to yeah. think about it on that way, that's my dad, because yeah. really and truly, you have youth, you know what I mean, and... and it's just an influence of music. Right. Influence of music. It's just so powerful. Yeah. So you, you, have can't, to... you can't, you can't, you can't step on the radio station as an artist and say, listen, I'm no role model. You don't make yourself into a role model. Once you're singing song and you eventually people is gonna, are, are gonna judge your bass band, the life of your life, like how we can sing and say, once you're, once you're a public figure, mm -hmm. you're a part of you belong to the public. That's why you're called All a right, public, public figure. figure right. So as a, re as a result of that, you have an obligation because it's not about you anymore only it's about the public right and if you're selling things for the public to support mm -hmm. then you have that responsibility for whatever it is that happens Good. Mm -hmm. True. and when you talk about the influence um just off air esco was talking about being a countryman and hearing your songs and seeing some of your videos and the impact that it made on him so as we talk from the legends to the growing legend here tell me one thing that you've learned from each of these people because i know your fans have both been there what was something that you took in and said okay these older artists have shown me that this is something i need to do when i'm when i'm doing it well first and foremost i must be the pinchers can I remember when pinchers <laughs> what i've admired mostly about pinchers in those times is some they were original yeah he, he, you know what I mean? You were thinking. Come when on. everybody was doing cover version. Ah, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. Pinchas was always original. And as a writer, as a composer myself, it, it, it just show you that, listen, sometimes, you see, melody, melody is the thing. Melody is what makes a song. Mm -hmm. No matter, guys, there is nothing new under the sun. If I say, I love you, I love you, you know, you don't matter what tone, because there is nothing new under the sun. True. Mm -hmm. But the way how Pinchas, you know what I mean, could use his melody and you know what I mean even a dance hall with him too you know what I mean as a singer mm -hmm. and I, I I admire that Stitch you know the hands of Stitch has you know what I mean lyrical mm -hmm. they come to lyrics you know what I mean and so I, I both admire you know what I mean these two artists and all the rest of the icons of the business because me is a countryman and Manchester me come from here mm -hmm. me but the first time I saw Stitch you know I Stitch <laughs> 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 in video Woman with your size, your favorite song. Ah, you know what I mean? I'm Mr. Curb Theater. At first, Mr. Curb Theater by TV, you know what I mean? You never know what things don't look like in those times, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so it's really an honor and a blessing to even sit in the presence of these great icons, you know what I mean? As I youth, I'm 37 years old now, and I've been listening to these artists from when I was young. And if I could be 37 years old, that means I'm a big man, them. They were always young, too, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A tribute, a tribute to the, to the legends, legends of reggae, reggae into the dance yeah. hall is a musical rockumentary once again that salutes the lives and music of legendary dance hall artists featuring live from Jamaica, Lieutenant Stitchy, Tiger, Pinchers, also featuring five time Juno Award winner. You're, you're nominated again this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I take that one too. Yeah. Juno yeah. Award winner Esco Levi, who will be paying tribute to reggae legend Garnet Silk, is hosted by Master T. And uh, I would like to tell you guys where to get your tickets, but I can't because it's sold out. Okay. The things sell off All right. already. So we want to thank the three of you for passing yes. by. We would love to sit down and talk to you yeah. a lot longer, yeah, but believe me, yeah, we have what? more food to eat. And um, <laughs> 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 and then, like, yeah, like, no, yet ask about the future. And yeah. I just wanted to speak a little about that. Just, okay. just you know, briefly, uh, that um, futuristically, the thing look bright. Okay. The music mm. business supply. So right. when we speak of it, it's not a negative light. No. Right. Because no. they are gifted and talented people. Right. They are good producers happening out there. But I would encourage some of my, some, some of my dance hall, you know, friends, to be more, more creative in the thinking mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. i mean just be who you are and, and and just be one don't try to be like somebody else right. as, you know just consider yourself that you're a pro prototype yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah yeah you know mm -hmm. and, and and put in the work and don't leave it only to the engineer because mm -hmm. sometimes people just write maybe one or a, a one verse or a one and a half verse mm -hmm. and then the engineer creatively make the song and then uh, it becomes monotonous uh, right, and right. it only have a short life there's no there's no longevity mm -hmm. to the growing of it because we need people to constantly help people are doing that but we need more and mm -hmm. about the lyrics thing you can just say it a little weird you know have some raw like we have to say you know, and we have to sit down on it and all that yeah, yeah, yeah. but we know how to deal with it yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the yeah. presentation of things soca music it's so clear. What's more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always been the person who speak, um, speak, um, the, the, um, you know, you know, 
in, in a way that you have to think ambiguously you know what yeah. I mean yeah. one thing I have sugar cane mm-hmm. you know you know I will learn from the survey you know what I mean yeah. from those times mm-hmm. until now now it's a new lifestyle a new thing that I am putting forward you know on a higher level mm-hmm. you know representing Christ you know without fear or apology and I am taking it in a re- I have a new album coming out entitled Masterclass, me, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. which is a, a new level. Because for the fi- for the future, we're talking for the yeah, future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a new single that is released today. Okay. Entitled yeah, yeah. Like an Arrow with a new video as well. Okay. You know, you know what I mean? Be- and people can check out my thing on my Facebook, Twitter, my Instagram, YouTube page at Luton and Stitchy. You know, just share and submit. Okay. I subscribe rather, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, all right, all and right, the album okay. can be had pre-order too. <laughs> okay, you know, you know so we're talking about the future. That right. wasn't a, a thing that we did way back when. Mm-hmm. Right, right, but right. you have to also move with the time. Forward. So welcome changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let it be, let it be positive. Let it be positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were asking about. Yeah, I have a new album. Um, finished record already, and um, did just um two days prior to coming here, did a video for one of the track and uh, okay. entitled um. Empty Inside, mm-hmm. um, produced by Mess Jam Production, you know, Canada based. Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, I don't know if I want to play that you want to hear from Star Trek um, music, Crime Must Be Stopped. We play that one? I know suspects must have it, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. we we'll have to mm-hmm. pull that one. Deep, you know, but, uh, you, you know, as, as Esco has said, the, 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 the diss track is them, them play vital role in there. Don't know Absolutely. That, I mean, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Sometimes they give them some type of song, but I don't know if they are going by. Give the people what they want. Mm-hmm. Why they want to give them certain type of songs, but certain things them not really put the the, 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 the the workforce behind that one. That, you know, mm-hmm. your eye back the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, of course, Esco, I haven't seen you since. We're wrapping it up, but I haven't mm-hmm. seen you since to be able to tease you. The last time, of course, <laughs> you are in your your conscious. You are in this beautiful lane and level. The last time I saw this man perform at Union. All these women started screaming, he's here, he's here. I'm looking for Idris Elba. When I realized, I just want to meet him. I said, when did this happen? So we have to add that to the title. Well, yeah. And sexist. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Thank you guys very much for passing through the morning show. We got more music after the break on GNA. Here's the 411.